hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous videos related to electrical machines we have discussed about some important terms and notations related to angular motion such as uh, angular displacement velocity acceleration torque work power and newton's law of rotation so in this video we are going to discuss about another important aspect of uh, the rotating electrical machines or the electrical machines in general be it rotating or uh, stationary which is the magnetic field okay the flux which is an important component in the operation of the electrical machines okay so what is magnetic field and uh, what is its requirement in electrical machines now we know that uh, the electrical machines it basically the, the main task is conversion of energy okay from electrical to mechanical or mechanical to electrical okay when it is electrical to mechanical it is a motor it functions as a motor when it is mechanical to electrical it functions as a generator and uh, another important application of uh, magnetic fields in electrical machines is transformers okay for uh, voltage uh, amplification or to step up or to step down okay attenuation or amplification of voltage levels okay so these are the three main tasks of uh, or the three main areas of uh, in which the electrical machines uh, they function so there are four basic principles by which the magnetic field is used it is it is applied in electrical machines so the four basic principles are the first one any current carrying conductor or wire it produces a magnetic field you know which is uh, the Fleming's rule okay so the time changing magnetic field induces a voltage in a coil okay as it passes through that coil which is the basis of transformer action action okay and defy by DT the current carrying wire in the presence of a magnetic field field experiences a force and tends to rotate which is the basis of motor action Fleming's rule left hand and right hand rule and the fourth principle is a moving conductor or wire which is when placed in a magnetic field has a voltage induced in it which is the basis of the operation of a generator okay again this is the Fleming's right hand rule so these four principles are utilized in the operation of the electrical machines okay be it a transformer motor or generator so all of these principles involve one common link which is the magnetic field so now we must understand some basic concepts and laws associated with magnetic field which come into play in electrical machines so the first law is associated with the generation of the magnetic field used in an electrical machine which is the Ampere's law okay it is the basic law governing the generation of a magnetic field for operation so its mathematical expression is given by the closed loop or closed path integration of intensity of the magnetic field multiplied with a small length okay so a small change in the length across the mean path length of the conductor is equal to the net current or total current flowing through the conductor okay so if we try to understand this let us say we have a insulated frame okay or core it has 
a number of turns of wire wound over one side of it and the current flowing through each turn of wire is equal to i small i and this periphery the perimeter the total perimeter here around the mid section is the mean path length which is l subscript c and this is the cross sectional area of the core or the frame now this expression the intensity of the magnetic field integrated with the small change in the length is equal to the total current now this total current is equal to n i where n is the number of turns of coil and i is the current flowing through each turn okay n is the number of turns of coil wound over this frame and i is the current flowing through each turn so the total current obviously will be n i and this closed loop integration of dl is the mean path length okay this mean path length this periphery this this perimeter around the mid section it is the mean path length which is the integration of dl which we come across in this now normally this intensity of magnetic field is generally constant it is constant so this equation it becomes hlc is equal to i net or hlc is equal to ni okay intensity of magnetic field or h is constant so closed loop integration of dl becomes lc so this equation becomes hlc equals to ni because i net is equal to ni so this equation becomes hlc is equal to ni or the intensity of the magnetic field is equal to ni by lc where n is the number of turns of coil i is the current flowing through each turn and lc is the mean path length okay so this is the important equation derived from ampere's law which is related to generation of a magnetic field now let us understand about other important terms so when it comes to the intensity of the magnetic field there is another important term associated with it and it is related to it which is the magnetic flux density okay the magnetic flux per unit area okay the magnetic flux per unit area so the magnetic flux density and the intensity of the magnetic field h are interrelated as b is equal to mu h where mu is the permeability of this material okay the relative ease with which magnetic flux flows through it okay it is the relative ease with which magnetic flux flows through this conductor okay this frame that is permeability so as h we calculated is ni by lc so we can write it as b is equal to mu ni by lc so the unit of magnetic flux density is weber's per meter square it is also called as tesla next the basic definition of magnetic field intensity and magnetic permeability okay so the intensity of magnetic field we know that in order to generate a magnetic field we have to pass a current through a conductor okay so that the amount of current that has to pass through each turn of wire to generate the required magnetic field that is represented by the magnetic field intensity okay it is the effort in terms of the amount of current that has to pass through each turn of wire okay the amount of current that is i that has to be passed through each turn of wire to generate a flux okay the required flux to drive an electrical machine be it a motor be it a generator or a transformer that is represented in terms of magnetic field intensity h and the unit it is clear ampere turns per meter okay the current that has to be passed through each turn of wire next is magnetic permeability mu again i just uh, told you that it is the ease with which the magnetic flux flows through this it is this conductor okay through each wire and 
it is the relative ease with which the magnetic field is established in a given material and the unit of magnetic permeability is henry's per meter now we all are acquainted with this these things in the electricity and magnetism section in physics okay so we are just uh, just repeating it so that we have a good understanding we have all read this in electricity and magnetism section of physics next is magnetic flux the total flux so the magnetic flux density b is the flux the magnetic flux flowing per unit area so the total flux can be found out by integrating the magnetic flux density over the total area that is integration b da where da is the small change in or the small area that is taken now this magnetic flux density is constant for all it is taken as constant so it becomes b into a so b we have already calculated as mu ni by lc so this becomes mu ni by lc into a okay so this is the basic concepts related to the various terms associated with the generation of magnetic field starting from the ampere's law the production of magnetic field which is which which is the intensity of magnetization the mean path length and the total current the interrelationship between that which we got as this next is the relationship between the magnetic field intensity and flux density where the permeability comes into play and then we have the total flux okay so here we have discussed some of the basic concepts associated with the production of the magnetic field so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much